Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we're going to continue our series on workshop bench planes and the star of today's video is going to be the Veritas apron plane. Now before I start this video, I want to say right off the top, I am not getting paid by Veritas to make this video. This is an unbiased product review. I purchased this plane with my own money. I plan on purchasing more of them. However, if Veritas wants to contact me, we can definitely work something out. I would love to get more of your planes. Now this beautiful little plane looks kind of like a block plane. It's kind of hard to describe. It does a lot of things in the shop. As I've discovered, I've heard good things about it from other YouTube woodworkers. Veritas planes are made in Canada. They are beautifully crafted, beautifully machined. As with any good block plane, it is easy to adjust and easy to use. You simply loosen the lever cap knob slightly, only about a quarter turn or so, and then start adjusting the depth of the blade by turning the blade adjustment knob. Give it a quarter turn to tighten, doesn't take much, and that blade stays in place, you're ready to use the plane. When you're done, you simply loosen, less than a quarter turn even, pull your blade back in, and quarter turn will lock it in place again, and you're done. Tuck it into your apron or your pocket. Over the last month or so, I've used this plane on big projects, small projects, worked on a community timber framing project just a couple of weeks ago and had this plane with me the whole time and I can tell you it was a godsend. It gets into places where other smoothing planes can't. I've been using this little hand plane for about a month now and I have not been separated from it since the first job that I've done with it. It is absolutely incredible. I take it everywhere I go and it is just my go-to plane. I can take it out of my pocket and do quick fine adjustments. We're going to talk about edge planing slash jointing edges with the apron plane. Now you have about an inch and a quarter maximum width on this plane which will be ample for handling jobs especially if you're working with a lot of three-quarter inch material like I am. It'll smooth down the edge in no time on a three-quarter inch piece of material. One of the things that I have it handy for is fitting parts together. If something just needs a slight shave off of it by a few microns, you can easily do that by fine-tuning and adjusting this hand plane and just going in there and with within seconds you've got a perfect fit. Particularly if you're like me and one of your favorite methods of joinery is floating tenon joinery. Making your floating tenons is a breeze when you've got one of these apron planes. Basically you rough cut all your floating tenons then you can follow up with your apron plane and actually pare these down for a perfect fit into the mortise that you've cut. The versatility of this apron plane really proves itself when it comes to doing quick joinery work and speeding up the process. More so than a block plane. A block plane I find is somewhat limited. This is somewhere in between a block plane and a smoothing plane and honestly it just has a little bit more heft to it than you would find with a block plane. If you've got a surface area that is up to one and one quarter inches. This plane will definitely do the surface planing work as well. It'll smooth down that surface if it's rough. And if you guys have watched me for a while, you know I really don't enjoy sanding that much. I don't enjoy the dust that comes with sanding. So being able to cut shavings off of something rather than sanding is a much more satisfying process. And it's something that I'm moving towards overall in my work. I was doing a community project a few weeks ago where I was building an arbor with a friend of mine and I had some pretty large parts. Uh, the cross beams needed a little bit of shaping. Normally what I would do is I would get my router out with a chamfer bit installed in it and make a huge mess. Instead I had my apron plane and I thought to myself, well, why don't I just try and do this with the apron plane and see how fast I can get it done. Even though the router is a little faster once you get going, 
the satisfaction of being able to do this by hand and getting through the job almost as quickly as I would with a router. That leads me to working with end grain. Another problem with a lot of projects when you're working on parts and you're doing some detail work, using a smoothing plane on end grain is not always the best choice. This is again where the apron plane comes in handy when you're working on something say like a 4x4 beam and you're trying to smooth down the end grain on a 4x4 beam it can be a challenge for just about any hand plane but not for the apron plane the apron plane seems to get through this it's just designed to fit in the palm of your hand you can adjust and fine adjust and smooth down that end grain in no time as with all Veritas planes, and I also own uh, a number four smoothing plane by Veritas, right out of the box, the plane irons are razor sharp, ready to go. When I compare the Veritas hand planes to that of, say, a Stanley Bailey plane, although Stanley Bailey is easy to use, the Veritas planes somehow have just that little bit more of mechanical precision when adjusting. I have not yet sharpened it and it still remains razor sharp. Uh, that said, I'm overdue for a sharpening so I will have to go and hone it very soon. concludes an unbiased review on the Veritas apron plane. To date, this has to be my favorite tool in the workshop. If you would like to help me continue to make and edit these videos, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And feel free to check out some of the videos on this side. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.